We are here at the Crater Diamond State Park Visitor Information Center getting the latest news about recent diamond finds at this state park. They're showing a video in the upper left hand corner the three main methods for finding diamonds at the park. And on the upper right hand side you see photos of recent diamond finds. At the bottom there's a, a scrolling marquee of telling what day, what size, and what city the lucky visitor was from. And uh, this is pretty updated information. It's got information as of April 5th, and today is April 8th. And that is a lovely 11-point yellow in the upper right-hand corner. Nice seven-point yellow. There are 100 points of weight per carat. So if there's a 20-point diamond up there, that's a fifth of a carat. A 50-point, that's a half a carat. Just to give you an idea on the size. 76 diamonds have been found so far this year as of April 5th. There's a two and a quarter carat brown found in June of 2020. At least three diamonds bigger than that have been found in 2020. 34,210 diamonds have been found at this state park since 1972 when it first became a state park. On Thursday, April 1st, a visitor from Greenville, Missouri registered a 73-point white diamond. So that's almost three-quarters of a carat. On Friday, April 2nd, a visitor from Wiggins, Mississippi registered a 43-point brown diamond. That is a gorgeous 70-point yellow in the upper right-hand corner. That was found recently. On uh, Friday, April 2nd, a visitor from Plymouth, Wisconsin registered a yellow diamond weighing two points. So 1 50th of a carat. Look at that beautiful 43-point brown. I love it. On uh, Sunday, April 4th, a visitor from Wiggins, Mississippi also registered a eight-point brown diamond. Look at that beautiful 11-point yellow in the upper right. Gorgeous. On Sunday, April 4th, a visitor from Kill Devils Hills, North Carolina, registered a 7-point yellow diamond. That's a beautiful 4.5-carat yellow discovered last October 31st, 2020. Two diamonds larger than that were found last year, a 6.29 carat white and a 9.07 brown. But in my opinion, that four and a half carat golden yellow is the best diamond of 2020. So we had a lot of big diamonds found last year and we'll see how this year goes. That 11 point yellow is beautiful. So on uh, Monday, April 5th, a visitor from Streamwood, Illinois, registered a seven-point white diamond. There's a seven-point white. That might be a picture of it in the upper right. The words at the bottom and the photos at the upper right don't always coordinate, but it might have at that time. Uh, on Monday, April 5th, a visitor from Streamwood, Illinois, registered a seven-point yellow. Boy, that 70-point yellow is beautiful. On Monday, April 5th, uh, a visitor from Streamwood, Illinois, registered a 11-point yellow. So it only costs $10 for adults to search for diamonds all day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you get to keep all the diamonds that you find. It's a great deal, and we've had a lot of lucky visitors here lately. Here's that 9.07 carat brown found September 7th, 2020, by a visitor from Arkansas. It was a, a suburb of Little Rock. Boy, that 70 point yellow is gorgeous. I, I keep looking at that. That's beautiful. Well, I think we've about got all the information. They're just going to show a video teaching the three main methods for finding diamonds. Dry sifting, as demonstrated there, uh, surface searching, and wet sifting. Those are the three methods. That 11-point yellow is gorgeous. 
Well, thank you for joining me for this update on recent diamond finds at Southwest Arkansas's Crater of Diamonds State Park.